afternoon. And I'm here today to tell you about the bunches of initiation. It's two hours long, but it feels like it's three hours long. <gasps> It's about an angry old man who gets PMS. You know this word? PMS? Yes? Well, he gets PMS and he decides that he does not want to be friends with his friend anymore. Ooh <laughs> so instead of just ghosting like a normal person, he tells his friend, I do not want to be friends with you anymore ridiculous. Anyway, so he says he wants to stop being friends because he wants to play the violin more. Okay, why can't you do both? Why can't you have a friend and play the violin? I mean, it's not like you have much to do on this stupid island. The old man was being nasty. He didn't have to be like that. Like, Try to avoid them like a normal person. Don't just flat out be mean and say, I don't like you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I mean, if you're willing to have an adult conversation and be like, look, we had a good run as friends, but I do not like you anymore. I will cherish our memories together, but I feel like at this time, I need to focus on playing violin. That is what is filling my soul right now. And who knows, maybe tomorrow I will change my mind because feelings are fleeting. People, we change all the time. Maybe after I spend so much time alone with my violin, I get bored and I want to be over it again. That would have fixed the whole thing. But unfortunately, this bout of PMS was a little too much for him, okay? I get it. After he tells his friend, his friend gets very upset. He doesn't understand why. They live on an island. It is the 1920s. There is nothing to do but drink beer with your friends at this tiny little tavern in the middle of nowhere. What do they do? They walk their sheep around? They stare at the water. That's it. That's all they do. Oh, they play music. Oh, God. They play music. And they gossip about each other. What else are you going to do on an island in the middle of nowhere in the 1920s? I don't know. So, this man... I forget their names. I really don't know. We'll just call them Old Man and Colin. Colin Farrell, right? His name is Co Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell and Hagrid, right? Is it Hagrid? Anyway, Colin Farrell is like, why don't you want to be my friend? I am so cute and I have a donkey. And the old man is like, if you talk to me again, I'm going to start chopping off my fingers. Which seems like a very stupid thing to do because if you stop being friends with someone because you want to play the violin more, aren't you going to need your fingers for the, the violin, for playing the violin? I think so, yeah? Yeah. Anyway, spoiler alert, I'm going to give away all the juicy bits of the movie. So if you are one of those people that like to go to a movie and not know what's happening, you need to stop watching right now, okay? Do it. So then, this angry old man, he actually starts chopping off his fingers and he 
throws them on the porch of Colin Farrell. And Colin Farrell is absolutely dismayed. And his sister, of course, she is also dismayed as well. But alas, Colin Farrell is not that smart. So he continues to talk to his ex-friend who has threatened to cut off fingers if he is going to keep talking to him. So, once again, the angry old man with BMS, he chops off his fingers and throws them on the front doorstep of Colin Farrell's house. And unfortunately, Colin Farrell's cute little donkey tries to eat the finger because donkeys, you know? Anyway, the donkey eats the finger and it chokes on it and it dies. That is probably the most interesting thing about the entire film, okay? Like, that was the most drama. The rest of the time it's just people walking around talking. <laughs> so boring. Ugh. So next, Colin Farrell's sister decides to move because the weird little incel boy wants to have sex with her and it makes her uncomfortable. Or maybe she got a job at a library or something, I don't know. We don't really get to know very much about her. I, th I think being a socially awkward man on a small island is not great for dating prospects, yeah? His dating options were this creepy gossip lady at the mail place and then this creepy old lady that, I mean, I don't know what her story was, really. Somebody tell me, please. I don't know what her story was. Um, and then Colin Farrell's sister. And she was hot. She was smart. Like, she was way above his league. She was, how you say, out of his league. Yeah? So, like an idiot, he asks her out. And of course, she says no. So that was another part of the film, which was just boring and pointless. Like it wasn't even, it wasn't even good, you know. There were no openly gay characters in Banshee of Inisharan, but I think the director was gay. I don't know, I kind of feel like Colin Farrell's character might have been gay, but... Who knows? That's for him to decide, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I will give them this. At least the sister was kind of cool, you know? Like, I kind of wish that the movie was about her instead. And that creepy old lady that was just wandering around being creepy. Like, what's her story? Where did she come from? I mean, I'm sorry, but this movie was so boring that I kind of stopped paying attention, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't you ever just like, you're like, oh my god, I'm so glad I have the internet because if I did not have the internet, if I did not have my phone to look at cat videos, I would be going nuts right now, right? As you know, I have a very special rating system for my movies. You could get champagne because who doesn't love champagne? Champagne is like the best of the best. A pink lamb is, um, it is okay. It's cute, it's fluffy, it's nice to cuddle with, but there's not much there. And then we have the guillotine. The guillotine is for movies that I hate. But because of some of the special circumstances in this movie, I would like to give this movie the finger. Oh, I can't believe they spent money on this movie. The only positive thing that has come out of this film is that we have proved without a doubt 
that men also have a monthly cycle and it can have horrible consequences if they don't get their mind on, okay? I would like to leave you with one last thought. If you are thinking about playing the violin, do not chop off your fingers. It will not help you play. And that is it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Where is my drink? Where? I, I ordered champagne. Hello? Feel free to tell me what you think in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you think that I am the bee's knees, please subscribe, follow me. You can ask me advice and I will give you advice. I love telling people what to do, it's so much fun. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Go away. Go. Go away. Go.